So did you know that pass was coming or kind of what was going through your mind? Oh man, uh, so we were in man coverage and uh, you know, uh, Mitchell kind of gave me an outside move. I just sat on it and came back in. And as soon as he came back in, I knew the ball was coming. So I just got my eyes back to the quarterback and just made the play. How many seconds did it take you to kind of comprehend what had happened? Oh man, uh, wow. Well, first of all, I had to make sure I had the ball because I kind of bobbled it a little bit going to the ground. So I don't know, I think I may have fell down twice just to make sure I had control of it, but uh, it, it took me, man, it, it probably took me a few seconds really just to grasp the moment because uh, something like that, man, that's, a, that's, that's something that I'll be telling my kids for the rest of my life. As a guy from Georgia, I mean, that has to be huge for you to do this in this stadium, their school didn't recruit you. I cannot begin to tell you my entire family except for my mom and my dad and my brothers, everybody else is UGA fans and my family. And, uh, growing up a Tech fan, we were kind of the outsiders, you know, always kind of hoping they win and just rooting for Tech, but to, and I told my dad going into the game, you know, this is a chance for me to actually play a big role in the game for the first time, so, man, it's just pure emotion, man, I can't even describe it. Tell us about that def defensive stand at the end, I mean, you know what you had to do after the block PAT, you guys knew what you had to do. In the fourth quarter and overtime? In overtime. In overtime, yes, sir. Well, uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, they, they kind of drove on us a little bit, but everybody just, this thing about this team is very resilient. This team is very resilient, everybody showed hard, everybody kept fighting, and um, we just knew we had to get the job done. I can't really describe it, but as a unit, man, we, we, we kind of became one and just went from there. I know you already touched on this, but kind of take us through that play, how you made the pick, and then when you grasped the big picture and what that meant. Absolutely. So uh, Coach Root called man-to-man -man coverage. Uh, they had me singled up to the backside, so I, I kind of was anticipating the ball coming that way. And, you know, Mitchell kind of ran an outside fate and came back in on the slant and got my ass back to the quarterback and just caught the ball. And, um, man, it, like I said, it took me a few seconds to really grasp it. I had to make sure I had the ball first, but man, it's, like I said, once I finally did, it's like pure emotion.